of Meticulous Magpie. Oh, I got a one of one. Holy shit, I'm fired up. <laughs> this oh, is shit. I, number I to five. Big. Number to five. Big. I got something big. Five. I got a one of 15 drawing. Holy shit. No. Yes, I did. I'm keeping these. Okay, I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. Hey, everybody. Uh, really excited to be making this video, and obviously we're going to put it on audio to the podcast. This is an extremely, ex- extremely special announcement in my world. Uh, crosses some of my greatest passions, working with some people I adore, uh, and uh, and really the expansion of the VFriends universe. So we have this big brown box here, if you're watching visually, if you're listening, just play along, use your imagination, radio, 1920 style. Um, we are uh, announcing many things here today. I'm gonna let my uh, dear friend here to the left uh, kind of take the baton and announce the macro and then we'll get into the micro execution within the macro. Uh, so I'm here with Josh Luber. Josh, how are you? I am unbelievable. I am amazing. You took a red eye for this, so <laughs> yeah. I'm very proud of you, brother. I, I, I Thank was, you. I was trying to will myself to, Thank that, you. to that answer. Thank you. Fortunately, there's so much light in your office. Yes, it's waking it's me up. It's, it's great. So um, why, don't you, why don't you give a little context of uh, what you got going on and then we'll go into what we've got going on. <clears throat> well, this is the launch of of uh, four things, really. Um, but uh, at this point, a lot of people know that um, I have been working on trading cards for quite some time. Um, a lot of people know that Mike Rubin and I started a company and we were able to acquire the licenses for baseball, basketball, and football. And that's amazing. No, that's profound. Um, but the thing that um, I'm actually most excited about and the thing that I've been working on longer since uh, the reason I left StockX was we've always believed that there should be a trading card brand for culture, for non-sports, for all of the important people in the world other than athletes like yourself, like um, every TV and movie and actor and rapper and, and artist and fashion designer. And um, we tried to create a set at StockX. Back then it was kind of a side project. Yeah, side projects don't work for a lot of reasons. Uh, and that never, never got out the door. And so we built a company. We built a brand. And so... Um, we are launching uh, Zero Cool, which is a trading card company for non-sports. So Tops, Panini, Upper Deck, Zero Cool are your, now your four trading card companies. Um, but we get to do the very first set um, with VFriends, which is pretty exciting. So we're launching the technology, the brand, the site, and the first physical trading card set for an NFT project. Um, and uh, there's probably no better intersection of culture, commerce, finance, cards, collectibles, um, than um, where NFTs are going and where VFriends is. So it was a perfect mix to be able to, to do that. So that's what's, what's in the air. I've only seen these uh, in- I have not seen these. I've only seen these in pictures. This is the first time I'm seeing them physically as well. There is so. a box right in front of me that we're about to open. I really wanted to capture. So what we're doing is for announcement, we are teaming up with Zero Cool, this profound new card company that we think has huge upside. As you can imagine, from the second I started drawing uh, VFriends, in the back of my mind, I'm like, well, there's going to be cards, right? You know, and so when, how, and I'll never forget, because I reached out to you and we just started chopping up and you're like, you're not gonna believe this, I'm doing this. Mm-hmm. And th- this has been a year in the making, um, and the way we decided to do it is, look, VFriends is a premium product, so we decided that we're gonna launch uh, VFriends collectible cards in a very small, high quality, limited run, uh, and why don't you explain the format of how we're doing this? Yeah, I mean, this gets to the entire thesis of, uh, of trading cards, of what we'll be doing at Fanatics Collectibles, of, of what we try to do at StockX, um, but the whole idea is that these products, whether they're trading cards, NFTs, collectibles, um, these are not consumer product goods. These are not products that should be priced at a retail product. These are market-driven products. These are supply and demand-driven products. And so we did some of this back at StockX where we release products as what we called an IPO or initial product offering. But the mechanism is what's called a blind Dutch auction. And we get into the details, but at the core, it lets the market, it lets you set the price, not us. And if the product is a, is a blast and everybody loves it and there's not a lot of supply, then prices go high. If it's the inverse, then it, it goes low. And that's okay. The product should be priced as the market price prices it. And so, so the, the, we get to Obviously, these. we have links everywhere to go to this. Um, this is dropping, what, March 8th? Is uh, that, are we, so it, are we so it opens March 8th, right? And so the, <clears throat> the, the whole idea, excuse me. No worries, mm-hmm. drink. 
So what, what, what's really cool about this mechanism, and I was concerned, because we're not making a lot of this, <clears throat> right. like, and we have such a big community <clears throat> in Discord, such a big card community, there's just a lot of demand. I'm like, how am I gonna do this? And, right. and Josh is like, well, I'll tell you how we do it. We did this at StockX, we yeah. did this. Like, I'll tell you exactly how we're gonna do it. Everybody gets to put, correct me if I'm wrong, everybody gets to put in a price yeah. of what put they would like to pay yep. for the box, and whatever the low, you know, you have a supply, yep. and whatever the lowest price is, that's what everybody pays, that's right. right? So if if I'm the, if let's say this is not the case for the V Friends box, but if somebody does a ten thousand box drop, if the ten thousand person bid one hundred ninety seven dollars, all ten thousand people are going to pay one hundred ninety seven. That's how this is going to go down. You're as good at explaining this as, as anyone who works with this. Is, oh, I've been I've been pitching them this idea for. <clears throat> Five years now. <clears throat> for five years now. Excuse me. Um, but when's the window <clears throat> close? It's so it's three days. So it opens on March eighth. For three days, everybody has a fair, open chance to go Dustin, to zerocool.com. You've made, you've made a lot of mistakes in Be Friends. Be Friends one. Did you get Uno? <clears throat> okay. Two. But you agree that you've made a lot of mis- you would say you've made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> are you gonna make a meaningful like are you gonna be smart this time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but know the mechanism, right? So there's actually a world where, and we had this on several um, drops before, where somebody will build, bid a million dollars on the product, knowing that in the mechanism, right. they will actually get, now, if there's- You gotta be careful. Though. Right, if there's 100 if, products and 101 people bid a million dollars, then like everyone's kind of screwed. Yeah, so, you don't wanna do that. So that, so that doesn't okay. actually work out. Um, but, but the idea is that um, uh, almost, Everybody, and usually it's, it's over 95% of the people, end up paying less than what their bid was. Well, that makes sense, right? right. 90, uh, 99, in theory, everybody but the lowest. Well, usually woman what or happens man, right? is like you get you get clumps of prices around that like 100, sense. 150, yeah. 200, yeah, yeah, yeah. and so sense. you so that's that usually what happens. Right. But otherwise, it's it's you know it's 99%. Yeah. So. so are we disclosing how many? Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, so and, and, like, and this is the this is the fundamental I love uh, it. like transparency. This I love is, it. Like. Transparency is is the the buzzword. So right, how many all boxes this. of so, V Friends? So we made one thousand boxes of V Friends, each of which has one pack with ten cards in it. So think like National Treasure, flawless super type premium. of like super premium quality. Can I, can I just? Yeah. Let's, let, let, at this point, we should open it. <laughs> That's so. very funny. <laughs> this uh, I think a lot of you will get this meme. Logan, we love you, brother. Mm. Um, all right. So holy crap. Here's so two, two boxes. Um, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> so these are, are these two or I mean there's one. So this is a, uh, a case, so you. Are these real or are these like yeah, no, no, this, thousand? This is, this is real, yeah, yeah. This is so, like mine? Yeah, yeah, so we made a thousand boxes, we're selling 800. Got so it. people want to hide seating numbers. Right, because we're per, giving stuff yeah, to like you guys, yeah. Zero Cool's giving it to some influencers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My team asked for some boxes yeah. for people. I'm putting a couple boxes in my closet. Oh, so, me yeah. too. All right. So this is it. This is it. It's not. This it's not. It's not. It. It's the only thing. It's not shrink wrapped like it will be. But we we brought this right from the factory. Um, wow, I mean, this is fucking sweet. No joke. Yeah. So for people in the card world, you'll recognize this because this is premium stuff. Look, I wish Dustin had a camera. On his, you're impressed, right? Yeah. This is. <laughs> yeah. The, the plan is to go super ultra. Does everyone have one? Sig? Sig? No, 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 no. no. Right. I, 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 right, because I, I only signed two hundred. Right, right. So uh, all the um, all the math is on zerocool.com in terms of I think there's two hundred thirty five base cards. There's different parallels, and you know you obviously you know hand um, signed and, and drew some one cards ones, as well. Right? Yeah, so right so there's some, some really random, right? And yeah, there's fifty. Was it fifteen? Mm-hmm. I drew fifteen kind of uh, drawings right on the card. Well, that was cool. Yeah. All right. So I, this is like the, the definition of, of true chase, like to this get hand drawn so stuff. First zero and code. by the way, we don't know what's in these. Like this isn't like pre-packed for us, so we might pull nothing, we might pull. Uh, and we're gonna hand. open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is awesome, I didn't even know we were gonna do yeah. that. All right, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, One at a time. You know, this I, is unbelievable. I, I've never been a breaker, so I don't know if uh, the, the Reflective correct word. Rhino. This is unbelievable. Oh, don't go fast. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Enamored emu. All right, here we go. Sufficient shrimp. So this is a base card. So I've never, I haven't yeah, held these. These are, these are so nice. Um, oh, boss bobcat. That's badass. They're kind of a boss dust. I mean, like the. Oh, I got something. A three of eight juicy jaguar. 
Oh, I have a I have a number to eight shrewd sheep. I like shrewd sheep. So this is a rare. Yeah, yeah. See it? This is yep. a rare. So we tried to match it with yep, the with what I yeah. did on Be yep. Friends, which is exactly. there's only one of eight, eight exactly. I got another rare secure sparrow, two of eight. I got a number to eight stoic slime. I missed him in the. I missed stoic slime. Oh, I got a very rare one of five curious crane. Oh wow! I, okay, I see what's going to work. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull from the back. This is how a breaker would do it, right? They would pull the they would pull the base card from okay. the back, right? Meticulous magpie, that is a, a base card of meticulous magpie. Oh, I got a one of one. Holy <laughs> shit! I'm fired up. <laughs> so I, Wild boar bubblegum. Hold on, I have two one of one. Holy shit! I have a signed one. You got one? God damn it! <laughs> I'm keeping these. Okay, I know you are. <laughs> I know you are. I'm getting these uh, graded immediately. Uh, I have, I have a different story to tell you about that. Okay, this oh, is I, number I to five. I got number something five. big. I got something big. I think they fucking planned this for it. They, uh, I got something big. Calm Clam, number to five. I got a one of 15 drawing. Holy shit. No. Yes, I did. I got the hey, smooth spider. We really didn't plan this. Did did I know that. This. Look at this smooth spider. Hold on, I want that. <laughs> That's so sick. Base, base orangutan, base... I have, a, I have a number to two platypus, which is pretty sick because it's green. Yes, an epic. That one's awesome. And I have, so I have a one, one of, of one, one who was born in 97. <laughs> yes, it's one of my favorites. That actually, that's pretty cool. Oh, shit, I, I pulled one of the best cards. That's, well, well now there's 14 le left. So this is, so I have an autographed level-headed lizard one of one. Love it. So is your one of one autographed? No, Okay. just a regular base, but I got the big hit. This is one of the biggest hits. What does it say? This future care is part of Vprint. Got it. Got it. Oh man, how is that fucking possible? I'm a very lucky breaker. I, <laughs> well, I got to tell you, if it was your son, you would have pulled two of those. Yeah, exactly. At the rate Same he's man on. Is a beast. With, um, right, this this is so game. much fun. Um, so anyway, for everybody's <laughs> listening, uh, there's 800 boxes available. 800 boxes. March 8th. I like that. I like when numbers line up like that. Three days to bid. Uh, this is um, obviously the beginning of you know, the journey with collectible cards that I want to be on with V Friends. It's very important to me. I'm going to put this in an incredibly prominent spot um, on my shelf. Oh, Sorry, I Deadpool's first appearance. I mean, I'll be taking a secondary kind of spot. Um, and so I am incredibly excited about this. I'm incredibly excited about. Zero Cool. Give us a little more Zero Cool love before we get out of here. Uh, bidding starts on March 8th, ZeroCool.com. Yeah, ZeroCool.com, yep. three days. Um, you know, you don't have to worry about bots or you know, any of the nonsense. Everyone will be able to have Wait, that. We studied markets and talked yeah, to economists did. and talked to professors for years to try to figure yeah, out like, this, was, like, this was the most fair way to, to sell high demand product. And so, um, so it just made sense for, for all of this. Um, but, you know, this is the start of the brand. This is the start of the the business. So um, if you just think about the world of possibilities, whether we do trading card sets for musicians or actors or so fashion it's, designers. It's, so it's like know. from Polo G to the cast of Euphoria to, exactly. you know, to, you know, uh, the, the kit, you know, you know, Ronnie, like it could really yeah. be anybody. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, there's gonna be different sets and different concepts. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like what I grew up with in the 80s, right? Like there was the Michael Jackson cards, there was the E.T. cards, there were Star Wars cards. There was so the much of team Yeah. I, got, I have boxes of ALF cards still sitting in my house. So. I, have, I, have, so I have a bunch of Supergirl and He-Man right. He stuff somewhere in my right. office. So, anyway. So, but there's a, a ton of the traditional IP. I don't want to say that's the easy part, but that's the part that people most know about. We've never had consistent sets for, hey, here's the 50 best uh, artists. Here's the 50 best fashion designers, right. or whatever it is, right? 100%. So, like these, and the, these people are as important in culture as any athletes ever. So, this is exciting for for me, and, and obviously this is part of Fanatics Collectibles with um, with tops and baseball and, and all the other the things we're gonna do. Insane. It's for us Jet fans, the epics, two, the one of twos. Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you. This is good luck so to everybody. I know it's only 800 people. This is kind of gonna be the alpha. There'll hopefully be more things in the future, but this is, um, I wanted to do something very, very high end, very on, on message to what we're doing with the friends. And uh, I hope this is an opportunity for some of you that weren't able to get series one to maybe get an opportunity to make amends. <laughs>
Thank you, Josh. Thank you, ZeroCool.com. Thank you. Excited March 8th. Uh, I may be dropping this on March 8th, 7th or 8th, or I don't know. I, we'll figure all that mm -hmm. out, but uh, good luck, good luck, good luck. Talk to you in the Discord about it. Thank you.